In southern Spain's Calaspara, the ambitious goal of Novatec Solar to provide clean energy from ingenious new technologies is coming to light. What was merely concept is now powering over 12,000 Spanish homes through the Puerto Arado II Linear Fresnel CSP power plant. The world's largest commercial plant of its kind, PE2, is the fulfillment of Novatec's innovative science and is the latest in the evolution of renewable energies. Joining the Spanish power grid in 2012, Puerto Arado II is a collaboration of Swiss utilities, Novatec Solar, and firms from Spain and other European countries. They are an alliance of progressive energy providers who don't only want to power the world, they want to do it better. The target we had when we established this company was to develop a CSP technology which should be able to compete against steam generation based on oil or gas. And very soon we identified that the Fresnel technology principle would be the one which should allow us to reach this target. When we started in 2005, we tried to turn my former work at the university to make it real. Uh, so this was, uh, I think, the um, turning point uh, from uh, paper to reality. We were still developing the whole technology from scratch. And in the same time, we already looked for sites where we could implement. So the optimism was very high. If I think about this technology, what is its essence? Its essence is a really simple design, but executed with a very sophisticated idea. The way it was being able to put together by very capable young engineers with a manufacturing technology uh, that allowed uh, this technology to become a low-cost producer. Novatec's goal was to streamline CSP technologies. That efficient simplicity maximizes PE2's impressive scale. The plant's solar field encompasses 300,000 square meters, boasting 375,000 mirrors that track the sun's rays and 28 kilometers of receiver piping. The plant produces 30 megawatts of emissions-free energy, enough for over 12,000 homes. PE2 is the largest Fresnel collector-based CSP plant in the world. The main characteristic of Fresnel is that it is based on flat mirrors instead of curved mirrors. The other differentiator is that in our case we produce the steam a turbine needs to generate power directly in the solar field. Steam is created when solar radiation hits the Fresnel mirrors and is reflected into the receiver system. Inside the receiver, a steel absorber tube containing water heats up and the water is turned into steam. That steam flows into a turbine which turns the steam energy into electricity to be sent into the grid. Using only water, not heated oil, to create steam, PE2 is the cleanest CSP technology to compete with fossil fuels. Its inspired air cooling design reduces typical water consumption by 200 million liters per year, while also boasting a non-invasive physical footprint. We have a very low impact on the ground. The used materials, there are steel structures and glass. There are still flowers uh, growing uh, underneath the mirrors. In other plants, they are using heat transfer oil. This is a quite toxic material, and this was also something we wanted to avoid from the beginning. Novatec's mirror production incorporated the efficiency of German car manufacturing. Using semi-automated robotics, PE2's reflectors were assembled only 80 kilometers from the solar field, proving that an industrial approach can in fact provide a clever and cleaner future. Obviously the, the solar field is built to a certain design, so we know that the, the mirror box has to be within, within millimeters. So the continuity of the production line is the most important thing. At the height of production, we ran five days a week, 24 hours a day. We made, for PE2, nearly 76,000 mirror boxes, 330 on average per day being made. The benefits of Puerto Arado II go beyond competitive and clean energy. Novatec's concept included the goal to create local employment. A model that has helped in southern Spain, it will be a component of future Novatec initiatives. 
Puerto Arado II has proven the Novatech solar concept and future developments are underway. With ever-improving technologies, Novatech's innovations can be implemented across the Earth's sunbelt. PE2 is not the end of our story. The next step we have already achieved so far is to increase the temperature level of the steam we can produce above 500 degrees C. And then secondly, we are developing at the moment thermal storage technology, so our CSP plants will be able to generate solar power even at night time. I think the basis for a sustainable future is that we will have uh, energy uh, production which is um, carbon free, which is not causing problems for the next coming generations and it has to be affordable for the generation making the decision today. And I think we have come to that level.